We only need to win one more game and we are in the Euro Conference League or Euro Cup 2, whatever the hell it is. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I almost dressed up for the occasion, as you can tell. Checkered shirt. It's always very nice. I've just seen myself recording and I forgot I've got the checkered background on this. I've got more checkers than a chess tournament. It's not even the right board game, Mike. Just You can tell I'm all over the place. Just, just, just drop the intro. Let's just get on with it. Is there also a bit of ginger in my beard, or is this literally just the shading? Oh no. I say beard, what I mean is patchy bum fluff. Mmm, there's an image for you. Hello everyone, welcome back to the TYC. And you can tell, cracking straight on into it today. Got Wolfsburger at home. And you know what? We drew with them. No one up there, Gaff, so no away goals, which is a bit disappointing, but crucially, we didn't concede any either, so really, we have the advantage in the sense that we're very good at home. All we need to do is win this game. Win, and we will go through. It is as simple as that. The only other game we played off the camera was a 1-1 draw against Cardiff Met Uni, which was gutting. Uh, Ruling Corwill scored a very good goal in that game, but then they equalised from a set piece in the last minute. Yep. So we made a mixed start in the league. It's not too bad, to be fair. Going away from home is always difficult. I'll always take a point. But we got Barla after the Wolfsburger game today. It's not Wolfsburger. It's just Wolfsburger. How can I mispronounce that? I'm stuttering all over my words here. What I will say about that draw is I literally rested up everybody. So now we have the full-strength team for today, which means Barden's in goal, McCormick, Lennon and O'Connell are in the middle. Then you've got Edwards at right back. Matthew Jones is the defensive wing on the left. You've got Smith, Lloyd, De Silva, Partin, and, of course, Ashley Idzi up front. This is the team that has fared so well in Europe so far. we just got to keep it going. Just got to keep it going. Even just for the money point of view, they've gone very defensive away from home. What's that? They've got an ex-player from Swansea and Watford in Buckman, someone that I actually recognise. That's the level that we're at now. We've got nothing to lose here. We know how good we are. Go out there and show everyone else what you're capable of. The boys, they're loving it. They love that chat. You guys were laughed at the start of this when I was getting sacked from Gillsfield and getting sacked from Chenretri. And if I'd said to you, in two years' time, I'll be in Europe, you guys would have absolutely laughed your head off. And now look at us. Now look at us. We're one win away from getting to a group stage of a European competition. It's the worst European competition, but a European competition nonetheless. They gave us a really good game in the first leg. They were the first team that kind of came and really, really outplayed us. And it was it was tough to accept because I'm not used to it, but I just fancy us at home. I just always think that at our gaff, at the Cardiff Sports Stadium, we always have a chance. We always have a chance of turning it around and getting a good result. But at the moment... As even as they come, I say that, we're dominating in pretty much every single stat, apart from possession. But who cares about that? Possession never won a game of football. Don't tell Pep I said that. Pep should be taking notes from me, to be fair. He couldn't do this with Ponty Pruth. I can't go off and spend £50 million on a fullback. That's a decent ball then. Great save. They've, they've got the away goal. Sandra Hackle has hit the ball in. I mean, it's Ewan being a bit daft, giving the ball away to Flecker. He has a real face. I knew we were in trouble. He whipped the ball in, whomed in it, and Barda made a decent save, but really probably should have got a bit more purchase on the clearance, and we're now very much up against it. Is the Pontypreef train finally running out of steam? At the most crucial moment, at the most crucial moment, are the players running out of a bit of form? I feel I'm missing a trick here with Jones on the left. There's so much room to exploit down their flanks. Uh, I'm going to say, show me something else in the second half. I mean, that's good that the boys got that kind of reaction. I'm going to take Jones off, and I'm going to bring Phil Jones on. Get him up into that winger role. Get him on attack. Let's see if we can attack the wings. That's where we need to get to. Let's feed Idzi. He's barely, he's feeding off nothing at the moment. Absolutely nothing. Need to get him more involved. You can tell there, there's 6.4s littered everywhere. The pressure's getting to the boys, but Barden hits it clear, only as far as their defender. But now, Jeff on the ball. Not the time for a red card, mate, so just try and restrain yourself. Got to take him off the leash. Edwards. Oh, he should have played De Silva and down the line there, Edwards. I say that. He's managed to make something of it. Well done, Edwards. Into Partin. Partin to Phil Jones. Tease it back to Smith. Back to Smith. Smith hits it. Great save by Backman. 
I wonder what all our players' jobs are aside from football. I'd love to think about that. Let me know what you think in the comment section, what everyone's job is outside of the team. Because I've not even thought about that. I like to think of Idzi as like a carpenter and he like really cares about his craft and he carves carves stuff nicely into lovely little sculptures for people. Jeff Lloyd, cage fighter, naturally. He'd have to be he'd have to be a cage fighter. Jeff Lloyd couldn't do another job. It explains why he's got rage problems. Like part of him'd have to do something creative, like a curator or something. This is gonna be a wonderful goal. We're out. We're out. It's over. The European dream is over. We've done really well, but we can't begin. Some of this has been a bit too good for us today. So I'm going to bring Tom Screw on for parting. Time to rest up some of the players. I'm going to bring on Sean Williams, Taylor for O'Connell as well. It's game over. We did okay. We've done brilliantly to get to where we, we needed to. And I have to say, I'm feeling a little bit hard done by. We've had more shots. We've created more openings. But we haven't had a single highlight apart from Wealth to Silvers in the first five minutes. Other than that, We've not really created a lot. They're kind of showing us really a bit of professionalism and a little bit of respect. I think they've actually paid us respect by paying a very defensive formation. Uh, none of the other teams have really done that. And I think ultimately that was to their detriment. And they've, they've just played me a little bit here. Whoever their manager is has just absolutely done me here. And this Heckle bloke, I, I need to sign him, clearly, because he's amazing. This is the first team I've kind of genuinely thought, oh, we have a chance here. And they're the first ones that are going to beat me. So... Just goes to show what I know. And, uh, you know, we it wouldn't be an episode of the TYC if one of my players didn't give away a penalty, stupidly. Heckle steps up, taps it in, it's his hat-trick. We've been absolutely done here. I won't lie, this is the first time with Ponty Proof in a while I felt a bit sad. Jeff Lloyd's definitely going to get sent off now. It's just His body language, aggressive. It's just because he's like that all the time. He's just ready just to punch people. And I'm just like, Jeff, just calm down. Jeff, Jeff, it's okay. You're the same, Adam. That's, that's Jeff. That's Jeff in the changing room before I even let him out. It's like, Jeff, just stop. Oh, dear. Well, there's being defeated. And then there's that. Uh, we weren't expected to win. I'm just going to say unlucky boys. Would have been nice to win, but it wasn't to be. And that's it. The it's over, the European run is over, but we receive another 86k for that, which is brilliant. Ultimately, it's been a very good start to the season because it's been very profitable. That's the best thing is that it's put us in a really good position financially to go on now and hopefully contest with some of the other teams in the division, aka TNS. If we can keep that up every year to start kind of like getting in more money every year, building up the bank transfer, building up the finances. Gets me to be able to bring better players in. I might actually be able to spend some money other than on like Lucas Aid and energy drinks for the boys. You know, we might actually be able to buy some like proper boots and kits and stuff. It'd be amazing if we could do that. Right, we need to bounce back and hit some sort of form lane because really we've not been at it for the last couple of games. It's beginning to show. Uh, we never like drawing blanks, and unfortunately, that's exactly what we've done in the last couple of games, apart from obviously. Our last one in the league. So I'm looking at the players. They're the only player that's really in bad, bad form. Apart from, well, is, is Wealth to Silver. So I'm going to have a little bit of a word with him. to say, come on, mate. Play a bit better. And he's, he's on with that. He's okay. He understands that. By the way, Naki Stovall, he's been called up by Bermuda. So he's actually, we have a genuine international in our team. A genuine international footballer. Never I'd see the day. Right, okay, well, we're playing Barla today, and we have an exceptional record against Barla. I've never dropped a point against them. Let's hope that that continues today. They have got a very good player up front, though, and Andrew Roberts, who I know for a fact and is quite good at scoring goals. That's why he's a striker, funnily enough. I love stating the obvious. Uh, well played by Edwards, so he's putting the ball back. And Idzi with a great header. Now, Welf to Silva. Go on, mate, do something good. That That's good. Welf, Welf, he's not going to shoot, is he? De Silva, oh, yeah, that's why, that's why I didn't want you to shoot. It's not great from Wolf. Some would say that was pretty poor. Because <laughs> he's... Yeah. I just need to let myself out sometimes. The amount of jokes I've made, like bad jokes in the last few episodes, have been off the scale. And I'm so sorry. Parting whips in the corner. Wolf to Silver. I wanted him to get better. He has. It's his sixth goal of the season. And the best thing about this, and one thing I said at the start of the season, I needed to find someone else to score the goals other than Idzi because we were so reliant on him last year. And it's safe to say that Welf de Silva is certainly doing that. It's his sixth goal of the season. He's got just as many as Idzi. Get in. I asked for a performance. I got one from them. I cannot tell you 
how happy that makes me when I have a player that really responds to criticism. I love it. Brilliant play by Edwards. We're first to everything at the moment. Idzi is in. Idzi. Oh, great save by Hutchings. I thought he was going to smash down in the top corner. I just need to get Idzi back firing again. I need him to start hitting in some goals. I've got Torre in the wings. And I've got Andy Owens waiting as well. Last time I played Torre, though, played at 6.2. He was god-awful. So I really need Ashley to kind of get back to it. I know I can rely on Andy because he's Andy. And Andy always turns up. They're playing some really good stuff here. Downs whips the ball in. Edwards, what a clearance. I, I, I swear, I thought Idzi was going to be in around the back there. Not to be. Ewan McCormick, I love it when he gives the ball away. He hasn't this time. Surprising. But they're just... I mean, I'm not enjoying this. I'm not enjoying that long ball football nonsense. And there's Andrew Roberts, who hasn't scored a goal yet this season. But I said he'd score one. I mean, it's not great from Lennon here. He's literally punting it up to nobody. And then completely leaves his man. O'Connell doesn't do enough to cover. Barden should probably save it, really. From that angle, not sure how it's got past him. And Burrows on the ball, fires it all the way back. I don't need to see the overall physical condition of the pitch. I know it's at 99%. That's great. Good for the pitch. Can it play for me because it's fit? Well, to Silva, what? I love his left peg. His left peg is like a wand. I can't believe he's not scored it, but he's just he's playing so well. I cannot take him off at all. Parting whips the ball in. It's he's just sort of like strolling around waiting for it to happen. I need him to make stuff happen, not stroll around waiting for it to come to him. Smith's having a really ineffectual game at the moment. Lennon's playing like absolute poo. It's not good. I'm not happy. I'm not going to lie. I'm not particularly pleased. But I will just say I'm very happy with the way that things are going. We're going to take Jamie Smith off and I'm going to make a bit of a controversial call here actually. I'm going to bring Stovall on. I'm going to put De Silva up with Idzi and I'm going to drop Partin back into the midfield with Jeff Lloyd. I'm going to get De Silva playing as a deep lying forward upside up along Idzi. Last time I put him up front, Wolf De Silva got a hat trick. Granted, that was against whatever their name is, Ton Petra, who are in like the division below. Actually, there are a couple of divisions below, but a hat trick is a hat trick, and he's shown good appetite when he's playing that position. So I'm hoping for a bit more from him today. Jeff, come on, mate. Pull yourself together, Jeff. Uh-oh. The top. O'Connell heads it straight to McConville, which is exactly where you want to put it. Edwards makes up. Don't be a red. It didn't look like a two-foot. It didn't look like a two-foot to me, if I'm honest, ref. Yeah. Right, well, the Silvers could get and play on the left now. Oh, it wouldn't be an episode if I didn't get someone sent off. Brilliant. It wouldn't be TYC, and it wouldn't be Pontypreef. If someone didn't make a stupid two-footed tackle. I'm just... Yep. 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 Brilliant. Never lost a game against Barla. Never dropped a point against Barla. Going to get beaten. And suddenly... Suddenly... I'm not enjoying this season. Suddenly... I'm a bit annoyed. It's not the start to the domestic season I was looking for. If I'm honest. Partin whips the ball in back post. Williams Taylor. It's, it's here, there and everywhere. Can someone... How is that offside? How in the world can it be offside when literally everyone's in the goal? Explain how this is offside. That's a joke. They're literally on top of each other. They're literally, like, he's on top of him like that. How in the world can that be off? Oh, just do me a favour. Come on. Just even grabbing a draw out of this would be a miracle. I need a miracle. I need a Come on, let's just nick a, a, an equaliser. Come on, we've done it before. Let's do it again. O'Connell. I mean, I love, love a long ball over the top. And apparently, so do all my players. Tom Screamer. That's better. See, out wide. If you're going to hit it long, hit it out wide. McCormick whips it in. It's missed everyone. To Silver. Oh, he should have hit it. William Taylor, don't you shoot. William Taylor, go on, roast him with your pace. He chips in. It's he! How in the... Mm, two, two disallowed goals for offside. Are you kidding me? He's flipping on! This ref's a disgrace, honestly. It's an absolute disgrace. What did the ref get? Where's his rating? A 9.8. Are you kidding me? Well, it's not been a good episode, has it? A 3-0 beating and a 2-1 defeat to Bala. I did not expect either of those things. Um, 
I'm gutted, actually. I really won't lie. I'm I'm absolutely gutted. I've slowed down the pace of the season a lot, thanks to Europe, but now that that's over, I can really kind of accelerate it and step on step on the gas a little bit. So what we'll do is we'll come back for Carmarthen and TNS, because obviously TNS being one of the teams that we're trying to overhaul this year, I need to get some results and toot sweet. We've got some very difficult games against Barry, Bangor is going to be hard. And it gets a little bit easier with Chindretri, Landidno and Colwyn Bay. I just realised that Chindretri have come up and joined us. Oh, this is superb. But, yep, so next time up is TNS and Kamarva. And I hope that you will be there to join in with me for it. Thank you so much for watching the episode. I hope that you have enjoyed it, despite the two defeats. If you have enjoyed it, and if you think the referee was a complete tool, then please let me know in the comment section. Like the video, share, and, of course, subscribe for more TYC and loads and loads of other saves that are going on on the channel at the moment. I'm here, I'm there, I'm everywhere, and I absolutely love it. I hope that you're enjoying all the content coming your way. I'm enjoying all the feedback, and I'm just loving every single save at the moment. So thank you so much for supporting the channel and watching the video. Until I see you in the next episode, stay cool. That ref.